Good morning, it's Lissy, in case you didn't know that. It's Thursday, October 27th at 7.35. So, what's happening? I went and early voted yesterday, which was very exciting. It was the first time in Massachusetts um, we could do that. So I, you know, took a little time in the middle of the workday and walked over to City Hall Plaza where it was being offered yesterday. So I'm done. Political ads, no matter what anybody says, my mind is made up. I'm just happy to like, now I can kind of, well, I, I, I do kind of like listening to it, but I want to try to tune some of it out because I just am so sick of it. I swear this is the longest election we've ever had. Um, anyway, I'm off to work as usual. And I am going tonight to a party at Saks for Key to the Cure, which is, um, it benefits Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. So, I thought I would gussy up a little. I mean, I'm not really gussied up. I'm in a gray, like, wool dress. But it's my, that C.H. Carolina Herrera dress that you may recall that I bought. This fit and flare number. Um, I'm wearing these... Stuart Weitzman booties. And then the dress has this matching coat. Honestly, the coat might not be warm enough for me today, but um, I'm gonna make do because I haven't worn it yet and I want to. Fun sleeves. And I'm gonna wear my gray boy bag. Um, so I've worn the gray boy bag a couple times this week. I don't know if this bag is for me. I love the way it looks. Functionally, it's just not for me. It's a little too small. It's not a small bag, but it's just got one compartment. Um, and like basically, okay, so all I have in here, I don't even have my full wallet in here. Like I basically downsized to a card holder. I have my reading glasses, you know, a lipstick, a mirror, my sunglasses, and I'll put my, oh, I don't even have my work Blackberry in here. I have to add that in. You know, by the time I put all the stuff I carry, like this just, I mean, this for me has to be more of like a night bag. And I don't really think of this as like a night bag. So I don't know, maybe I'll sell it. I know Alicia will tell me I'm crazy that I shouldn't sell it. She's like, you don't ever shall sell Chanel, unless it's like a very few things like that I've gotten rid of. But um, anyway, what do you think? So anyway, that's that. And I guess that's really it. I don't think I have anything else. Is there something else I wanted to talk to you guys about? No, if there is, I don't remember. I gotta start writing this stuff down so bad um yeah anyway oh my friend Nana asked about my um face makeup and the bronzer I've been using so I'm gonna I'll probably do something separate on that or tack it on later like, I'm not really prepared to give you all the information now because I want to show you what I'm talking about um but I gotta get to work so anyway that's it have a great day I will see you soon bye Hello, it's Lissy. It is Saturday at noon, October 29th. So I, yesterday, I did nothing last night really. I went to work and then I came home. I didn't even go to the gym because I knew I was going to the gym at 8 o'clock this morning. So I came home. I like made myself dinner. I watched an episode of The Fall. I wish I had more episodes of the fall to watch, but I'm just, I'm caught up. Like, so until, you know, I have to wait every week. I prefer binge watching. <laughs> so anyway, I'm caught up on the fall. And then I didn't, I, I got halfway through this movie called Elle, which is a French movie. Um, it's kind of disturbing. It's about a woman that gets like, her house gets broken into and she gets assaulted. But I think I'll probably finish watching it. But anyway, that was my evening last night. And then this morning I got up, I went to the gym. And I've really been not doing very much, catching up on some YouTube videos, you know, I took a shower, and now I'm going to go, um, I have just some errands to run, I'm going to go, 
I have some friends here in Boston, in the South End here who own a little jewelry store and they were repairing a couple things for me and I forgot they, they told me like two weeks ago that it was ready and I hadn't gone to collect my two necklaces so I'm going to pick that up I'm gonna get my nails done you know I did you might remember I did my own last weekend and I finally took it off last night with that Formula X and it lasted like the better part of the week and it was like really shiny all week so I like that stuff um, you know, it's rare I do my own nails, but, you know, for given it was my own job, it was pretty good. <laughs> and so I'm going to do that. And then I don't know, I might like run around a little bit. It's the time of year where I could probably stock up on some tights and things. So if I'm so inclined, I think, yeah, I hope it, I don't know if it's still raining. It's been raining and gross around here. Like it rained, like it rained most of the day yesterday. It hasn't been very nice. So depending on whether I want to be walking around, we'll see. And then I think tonight I'm going out with Alicia, but I actually need to ring her because she is sick. She came back from Paris with a bad cold. Um, so anyway, she was said she'd be up for going out tonight, but you never know when you're not feeling well if you really want to. So um, I'm going to call her and see what's happening. And that's really it. And oh, the other things I was going to tell you. So the other thing, I want to do two other productive things this weekend. One is like my makeup needs to be organized. I need to throw out stuff I don't use. And I need to just like, I don't know, I need to go through it. So I might do that tomorrow. And then the other thing, so you might recall my trifecta of like when I sell stuff where I send it so I try Poshmark like I make I can make the most money if I can either sell it directly like if one of you guys wants to buy something or through Poshmark because with Poshmark I get 80% of the sales price um, sometimes I sell through Yogi's Closet because they'll like give you a quote ahead of time um, and you pretty much know what they're gonna sell it for and you can, depending if it's if it's a lower priced item, they'll just always buy you outright. If it's a higher priced item, you can choose whether you want to have them buy you outright or consign. And if you consign, you know, you'll get, there's a higher possible price you'll get if you consign because, you know, it's the time value of money. You can either get paid today a little less or you can get paid whenever it sells a little more. And then, um, so those are the places I usually sell. I've recently started selling some stuff on Vestiaire, um, and that's where, like, I can list stuff on Vestiaire. They have to approve it. Um, I don't know what percentage I get. I'm not sure if it's a, like, basically, whatever price it gets set at, they just tell me what my share will be when it sells. Um, but again, like, I get paid only if it sells. And then, so that's really it. But there's this, I follow these, um, this place on Instagram called Luxury Gar Garage Sale, and they're, they're not in Boston. I think they're in Chicago. I think they have more than one location, but the one I'm pretty sure that it, like the one that I think exists is in Chicago. So anyway, I've been in contact with them, and what I like about them is like Yugi's Closet only takes very, very high end. The Real Real takes very high end and certain like, the modern mix type brands but like for example like the real real doesn't take Max Mara which is high-end actually it's expensive but it's just not you know they don't I guess they don't for them they don't think that's their market so they don't buy it and certain like more of the modern mix type brands like they really don't take Vince um, I don't know you know things like that so luxury garage sale their list of designers that they take seems to be um, seems to have more so I am going to send them, I think, a bunch of stuff and try them out. So that's the other thing on my list to do. Um, and I told you the other day, I'm contemplating selling that Chanel boy bag. I haven't decided on that yet because I do like, I love the way it looks. It's just not the bag I reach for all the time, just because for me, it's not the most, it's not the best size for me in terms of what I can fit in it. But like, for example, with my outfit the other day, I'm not sure what else I would have worn. Like, I'm, you know, I mean, I could have worn, you know, black or something else, but the gray was really just perfect. The other thing I'm thinking of selling is I have my large Saint Laurent sac du jour. 
you know, it's kind of the equivalent of like a 40 centimeter Birkin. It's a big bag. Um, and I don't use it. Like, I can't remember the last time I used it. It would be a good like carry on travel bag. But the only problem with that is there's no shoulder strap. So like you have to, you know, and sometimes when you're running through the airport, you want something you can put over your shoulder. So anyway, I just, I haven't used it. So I'm thinking of selling that, but the problem is I'm not going to part with it for nothing. You know, these are the trials and tribulations. Um, and I do have a whole list of things on my wish list. So I don't know, maybe I'll either come back and yap at you about it, or maybe I'll do, I haven't done a real, like just a blog post in like a long time, or maybe I'll do a blog post on it, but I'll report back and let you know about that. Um... I think that's it for now. I'm going to go off and get my day started. See you soon. Bye. Oh, I forgot to show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> so today I'm wearing, for the first time this fall, I'm whipping out my Alexander McQueen like sweater peplum jacket. This is just a cost, like big comfy, like long sleeve t-shirt. These are the frame denim um, cuffed hem jeans and my Max Mara booties. And I'm going to throw on my... Um, mosquito bag. So that's the get up. My hair's looking a little flat today. You know, now that I'm trying to like, some days it works and some days it doesn't. Oh well. Um, anyway, oh, sorry. <laughs> I use this to primp. <laughs> okay, have a good one. Bye. Hey, <laughs> it's Sunday. Oh, October 30th, like 1.20. So I don't normally pop in on my Sundays because as you can see, it's no makeup, the workout attire. Like I just don't even do anything on Sundays if I have no plans scheduled. So I basically got up this morning. I went to, well, let me rewind. So last night I met up with Alicia. It was so fun. Like, so she's back from Paris. And I saw her Thursday night, but it was with like a big, you know, group of people. So we didn't get to really catch up. So she and I went out last night and we caught up. It was great fun. So then this morning I got up. I went outside. It's so nice out. It's warm. I went outside to do some exercise. And um, I usually take like a long walk, which I did. But today I decided, I've been reading about, there's been all, there have been all these articles that I've been reading about how you can do very, very short spurts of like high, high intensity exercise and get like the same or better, you know, health benefits than, you know, long kind of slow and steady exercise. And it kind of makes sense when I think about it because when I work out with my trainer, and I'm talking like cardio exercise really, I guess not weights. So when we do um, cardio type things, that's what we do. We, I, like she has me do short spurts like on the rower or on the, um, that, you know, that Versa climber where your arms and your legs climb. I hate that thing. <laughs> so this morning, instead of just walking, I did some like sprints. So I feel good about that. <laughs> so I did that. And then I came home for a little while and I went um, to Whole Foods and I'm now back. I'm going to cook. I think I'm going to cook I'm going to make, I think, turkey meatballs and eggplant parm today. And I also bought some chicken thighs that I'll probably just roast up just to have, like, for the week. And that's it. But I also wanted to pop in to say, I forgot to mention when I chatted you up yesterday. So Thursday night, I went to the Saks Key for the Cure event. So basically, the key for the Cure event is to benefit the Dana-Farber Women's Cancer like treatments and programs and things like that. And they had, I don't know, a number 10, 12, like local Bostonian people, um, style, each style a look. And Alicia had a look in the little show that they did. So I had taken some pictures. So I did a blog post today. That's the other thing I did this morning in between my exercise and going to Whole Foods. I, um, did a little blog post. So if you're interested, it was actually really fun. There were a few looks I really liked. So I did that. And then the other thing I might do a blog post on is my wish list items because I have several things that I'm contemplating. <laughs> so you may see that forthcoming. Um, 
I think that was really it. So while I've accomplished a lot today, I didn't accomplish the two things I really talked yesterday about wanting to do. Like I have not done any of the makeup clean out. Like yesterday I went into my bathroom and I started like looking at some of my lipsticks and trying them on. But I didn't clean anything out because I found, I'm like, oh, I forgot I had this one. I forgot I had this one. Ones that I thought I was going to throw away when I tried them on, I'm like, oh, I like this. So I don't know what I'm doing. But I am going to email the gal at Luxury Garage Sale and um, email her pictures of the things I want to send to her and see what she thinks. So, and the day is, you know, clearly hardly over. I've got plenty of time to be productive. Um, but that is it. Yeah, I think I might go over to Athleta. I could use like one or two more pairs of workout pants and those, you know, have become my favorites. Um, you know, I bought semi-recently some shorts, but you know, I don't need shorts this time of year. So I might try to buy a couple pairs of their pants and that maybe might be it. There's some makeup and stuff I want, but I, hello. <laughs> I'm just talking about how I need to clean out my makeup. Why am I thinking to buy more? Oh, I got my nails done yesterday. This is the Essie Gel Couture. I will link to the color. I remember the number. It was 100. Um, but I will link to the color so you know. Um, it's like a, it's got a little bit of a, um, like a very little bit of a shim pearl, I guess. But it's like a, you know, eggplant or burgundy or something. So anyway, that's that. And that's that. I hope you had a great weekend. I will see you soon. Bye.